if x is greater than 0, in this video I'm going to prove that for any natural number n, 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 is greater than 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by x. So to prove that using mathematical induction, I'll look at uh, the following steps. And the first step is to state our inductive hypothesis, what we want to prove. So we'll call that uh, Pn. And then uh, the next step is to prove the base case. In this case, we are looking at natural numbers there. The natural numbers, we start counting at 1, so we would want to prove the P1. Then we go to step number 3, proving that if P of n is true, then P of n plus 1 is uh, true. So I'll start by the first step there, stating our inductive hypothesis, P of n. What we want to prove there is if x is greater than 0, 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 is greater than 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by x. So I can tick there that I have stated the inductive hypothesis. I now move on to the second part there, proving the best case. We are saying our best case, we are looking at p1. Just because we are looking at natural numbers, we start at n equals to 1. So n equals to 1, we are substituting n equals to 1 wherever we have n here. And uh, we would have 1 plus x squared is greater than 1 plus 2x. So we want to check is this true. To check that, I will look at the left hand side here 1 plus x squared. When we square that, we get uh, 1 plus 2x plus x squared. But if you look at this part here, this x squared, in this case, we are looking at if x is greater than 0. If x is greater than 0, our x squared there will be greater than 0. So this part that I've highlighted there is greater than 0. So on the left hand side here, we are adding a part which is greater than 0 to the 1 plus 2x. So that means the left hand side will be greater than the right hand side. Just because the left hand side is an extra part, this one which is greater than 0. So what we would have there is this uh, whole part here is greater than the 1 plus 2x, this one here. So in this case, we've proved that uh, the base case there is true. We are having that the left hand side is greater than the right hand side. I now move on to the next step, which is the third step there, to prove that if Pn holds, then Pn plus 1 should hold. So we are looking at now Pn plus 1. We are assuming that Pn holds. Our Pn is this one here, which is on top. On the Pn there, where we are having n, we are now replacing it with n plus 1. So our Pn plus 1 is 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 plus 1. But now looking at uh, the power to which this part is raised, 1 plus n plus 1. As one. You can use uh, laws of uh, indices there. When you are having a power n plus 1 plus 1, we will be multiplying by the plus 1. So it's 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus x. Both that is the one that would add the one there in the power there. So we'd have multiplied by 1 plus x. But if we look at um, our inductive hypothesis there, we are saying 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 is greater than 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by x. So if we look at this part here, using the inductive hypothesis, what we are saying there, it will give us that will be greater than 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by x, and then multiplied by the 1 plus x there. So that's what we are having now. I can go on and expand this expression here. And we have 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by x plus x plus n plus 1 multiplied by x squared. So that's what you get when you expand that. But if you look at uh, this part here, n plus 1 multiplied by x plus x, I can put the x inside the parentheses here so that we would have n plus 2. And we would have 1 plus n plus 2 multiplied by x plus n plus 1 multiplied by x squared. 
so that's what we are having now but uh, we are looking at uh, x greater than zero if x is greater than zero then this part there this x squared is greater than zero so i can write there the x squared is greater than zero and if the x squared is greater than zero then if we look at this part here this part will definitely be greater than zero so what we we'll have is this whole expression here is greater than 1 plus n plus 2 multiplied by x and just because this part that i've highlighted there is greater than zero so what we are having there is this 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 plus 1 is uh, greater than 1 plus n plus 2 multiplied by x so what we have uh, proved there is uh, if pn is true we are having pn plus 1 is true so i can take that so we have uh, done all the steps for mathematical induction so we say by principle of mathematical induction if x is greater than 0 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 is greater than 1 plus n plus 1 multiplied by x